Question 14 is to find the sums of infinite geometric series. This is very interesting. The formula is given over here. The sum of infinite geometric series. What does this mean? Imagine you have half, one fourth, you know, and one by eight, one by 16, and keeps on going. It keeps on going forever, right? But still you can find its sum using this formula. But technically it goes until infinity, right? How can you add till infinity? So imagine you have a piece of cake, like say maybe one kg cake, you cut into half, it's half kg now. You cut again half, it'll be quarter. How many times you can keep on dividing into half? It'll be 125 grams, you know, less, less, less. You can cut into infinite pieces, isn't it? So infinitely you can cut this. But you know the total sum will always be equal to one because that was a one kg cake. So that's the thing. Now, all you need to do is use this formula. The first term, whatever is the first term, you just put it up, 1 minus r. Simple formula. But very important that r must be less than 1. If r is more than 1, that means it's increasing. So now imagine you have 2, 4, 6, 8. It keeps on increasing till, sorry, 2, 4, 8, 16. You're multiplying, you know. R is something more, it becomes multiplication and keeps on going till infinity. You can't track it down. You can't find its sum. Whereas if it goes less, say 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.125, and then you can add all the sums. So we will look into the problems here. First step, you need to find R for all the terms like this. Just find R. Second term, 21 divided by 20 divided by 7 divided by 5. Or it's easier to write like this, 5 divided by 2, the whole fraction symbol, divided by 15, divided by 4. You can solve it, you know, try uh, try solving it over here, but it's better to use calculator, saves a lot of time. Now, when you're typing in the calculator, it's up to you. You can use the fraction again up over here, like 21. So it's 21 divided by 20. And then over here, again, use the fraction and it will be 7 divided by 5. And the answer is 3 fourth. Or what I would generally uh, suggest is, because this is less confusing, 21 divided by 20. And over here you have 7 divided by 5 because the fraction means divided by. The answer will be the same. Now the answer over here is 3 fourth. So what do you do now? Write the sum formula a1 by 1 minus r. a1 is 7 divided by 5. 1 minus 3 fourth. That is 1 fourth. You can put that entirely in the calculator. It is 7 divided by 5. Over here it's 1 minus 3 fourth or 0 0.75 or you can write 3 fourth. So the answer is 28 by 5. You can see that's the answer. Same thing over here. You can do it by yourselves now. Let's quickly do this. 5 divided by 2. That's 2.5 divided by 15 divided by 4. It's two thirds. Now all you need to do is 15 divided by four, one minus two thirds, two fraction. When you're writing one minus, write it like this itself. It's much better. So answer is 45 by four. Similarly, please do try these. Now here, remember it's negative, but doesn't matter. When you're finding the R, four divided by three, and over here it is 16 divided by nine, but don't forget the sign minus. It's negative 3 fourth. But is it le uh, is r value less than, z uh, you know, magnitude of it? Is it less than 1? Yes, 3 fourth is less than 1. So you can, you can find the sum. That is over here. Minus 16 divided by 9. And over here, 1 minus. I can use the answer because the r value is saved over there. The answer is negative 64 by 63. Similarly, you can do this. Uh, over here, it's 2.5. I think so. Yeah, there is no sum. Why? Because this is a very small number, you know. I mean, not very small. It's less than 2.5. This is 2.5. Just do it over here. See, 5 divided by 2, 15 divided by 8. So this value is more than 1. If, you, if it's more than 1, there is no way you can find the sum. Even because the formula exists only for r values less than uh, R value is less than 1, right? So if you try even over here, 15 divided by 8, 1 minus the answer. Now don't think this is the correct answer. No, this is wrong. Here you're getting some answer because you put the R value, yes, 
but this is not the accurate answer okay you should ignore this this will go to infinity no sum exists so first you need to find r let's find r over here as well it is 7 divided by 4 and over here it's 21 divided by 6 here the r value is 21 divided by 16 if it was 0 0.5 yes there was there was some but here it's 1.33 whereas over here if you try 12 divided by 7 and over here it's 18 divided by 7 and I forgot the negative sign the answer is 0 0.666 uh, that's fine you can use it so that's the end of the question 14 it's a simple and easy question just remember find the r value and then proceed with the sum formula